I was uh, thinking about having uh, kids. Uh, got the names picked out. They're going to be Donut and the Golden Hen. I know what you're thinking. How do you know they're going to be girls? <laughs> but a mother knows. A mother knows. Uh, I hope nobody here is deeply religious. If you are, please just rest in the glory that I am wrong. Uh, but uh, I was trying to believe in God because I've heard it is supposed to feel good. Uh, this is what I imagine it feels like to believe in God. You know when you're in a third world shanty town at midnight and you're terrified, but then off in the distance you see the glowing logo of an international conglomerate and you just feel like, oh, everything's going to be okay. <laughs> no, someone's looking out for me. I'm trying to seek the Exxon within. <laughs> My mom is uh, very devout, and so I like to connect with her, leave her messages on her voicemail from the baby Jesus. Hi, Million. It's your baby Jesus. Listen, I don't have a cup like this, so let me give you a call. Maria, will you stop leaving me those messages? <laughs> what, what messages? The ones from the baby Jesus. Baby Jesus is leaving you messages? You better call him back. Hi, Marion! It's BJ. Listen, it seems like you're playing phone tag. If you get a chance, give me a jingle, jingle. Honey, it's creepy. Marion, it's the baby Satan. <laughs> Stop it. I, uh, I am... My mom always says, honey, whatever you think about all the time, that is what you worship. Mm. That's the case. I'd like everyone to pop open their Diet Coke cans. Turn to page 37 in their people magazines. In this holy scripture, we read the parable of Miss Kirstie Alley. Once on television, then lost from pop culture. Now welcome back into the zeitgeist again. In the worst dress, she'll be the best dressed. In the best dress, she'll be the worst dressed. <laughs> Of course, I worship celebrities. Their moods create weather. I, uh, I am, they are vulnerable, though. I am concerned about celebrity chef uh, Paula Dean because her recipes are like a suicide note. <laughs> Yo, we're going to be making some sweet dreams. A little balls of butter, short and crisco, fat back crackers, blubber, suet, margarine, mayonnaise. Each day I wake to a fresh nightmare. The pain is. Too great. Gonna roll that in some granulated sugar, powdered sugar, candy, candy cone, gummy snakes, mentos, cookies, soup, soup, nerds. Don't look for me. I've made a plan and I will follow through with it. Gonna drizzle that in some hot fudge, heavy cream, whipple cream, sour cream, ice cream, cake, batter, peanut butter. <coughs> Bon appétit and goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> oh. uh, we gotta look out for each other because there's a lot of pressure these days. People are always asking, what are you working on these days? What's going on for you? What's on your plate these days? What's coming up for you? What's on the next page for you? What are, what are, what are you working on? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, I finished early. <laughs> I'm actually living in a gravy boat. And it's filled with scrumptious gravy. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thanks a lot. That was great. Thank you. That was great. Maria Bamford, everyone.